The world is becoming a much smaller place. With more people crossing continents, the rise of global health crises is a growing concern. But beyond the spread of viruses like HIV and Ebola, there's a bigger fear. Scientists say the rise of superbugs is changing the face of medicine. Superbugs are true and they are evolving and one day we will be dealing with them. And some antibiotics, the ultimate weapon against bacteria, are no longer working. The drugs that we used to use to treat those infections, we cannot use them anymore. The bacteria gets strong, we are not getting stronger. Antibiotics were long thought of as the miracle cure. The arrival of penicillin in the 1940s revolutionized medicine in a post-war world. But scientists didn't foresee that organisms would fight back. Bacteria multiply rapidly, causing infections. When treated with antibiotics, resistant bugs survive and multiply again. The misuse or overuse of antibiotics can make those bacteria resistant to other drugs available, creating a superbug. The fight against bacteria is getting tougher. In sub-Saharan Africa, parasites carrying malaria are developing resistance and spreading to Southeast Asia. In December, the UK reported 16 cases of antibiotic-resistant gonorrhea, a sexually transmitted disease. And just a few months ago, a new discovery startled the scientific community. Bacteria known as E. coli has developed resistance to colistin, a last resort antibiotic, in a highly mobile section of its DNA. That means it can travel, and it has. Samples were found in China, Denmark, and Canada. All antimicrobials which are effective against these organisms are being lost uh, one by one. And the antimicrobial pipeline is dry, meaning we are not accept, expecting new antimicrobials in the new future. And therefore, we have to be very careful with the ones we have uh, available at the moment. If superbugs aren't contained, the risks are serious. Procedures considered miracles of modern medicine, like organ transplants, would become too dangerous to perform, and dentists could even think twice about removing a tooth. Scientists agree the only way to stop superbugs is to avoid overusing the only weapons we have against them. Turkey is one of the biggest global consumers of antibiotics. As of last year, patients are only allowed to receive antibiotics through prescription, and doctors are at the forefront of changing old habits. We are going into post-antibiotic era, or in other words, pre-antibiotic era, why? Because of the untreatable quality of those infections that are in the community right now. We are going to watch and see how the patient co copes up with these infections, like in the old days. Researchers are also trying to cut down the time it takes to find out what a patient has. Scientists in this lab are testing hundreds of samples every day for various diseases and infections. But the idea is that in the future, diagnosis will not take days, but hours. The scientific community says more research is needed to find out what superbugs are out there. But many experts believe politicians haven't yet fully grasped the severity of the threat posed by them, and say that is the biggest problem of all. Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.